Hey everyone, we're back again with another workout video. So today is yeah, upper body kind of day. It was on, uh, we are glad to have kind of the beautiful Marjan with us back again. She was sick in the previous video a day before. She is the beautiful Nasim's sister. There's Nasim right there. So we're doing upper body today. A uh, typical split right now as of this time because the workouts will all will change and, and vary you know you always got to keep things different mix them up a little bit but the basic exercises remain the same um, so today is upper body day we do push pull and right now we're starting off with warm-ups of uh, lat pull downs if you guys will watch our videos you'll notice that we really don't do a lot of exercise because that way uh, it prevents overtraining but also so that um, you can actually train the muscles more frequently if you don't hit them with so many different exercises because you won't get too sore and they won't get too broken down at one time some the traditional way would be to like have certain days dedicated to maybe one or two body parts we'll do that too but we'll also do what we do now so that way we can pretty much do it every other day or we can train every day but it's every other day will be you know so it'll, it'll break it down like this it'll go say on a five day week that's Monday through Friday Monday would be lower body Friday would be or I'm sorry Monday would be lower body Tuesday would be upper body Wednesday get back to lower body again Thursday back to upper body and then Friday upper body or we'll do like um, other stuff like tires sleds um, more cardio stuff on Fridays. Fridays is basically a, a like we just pick and choose whatever we want, whatever we feel like doing, or whatever we feel like is our weaknesses. So we're now getting started with the heavy sets. Um, so we'll do two, sometimes three, sometimes if we're if we're warm and uh, the weather's hot or it's in warmer inside the gym maybe just one warm-up set just go by how you feel but basically you want to just do the warm-up to get the muscles as what it says to get them warmed up and not to really try to work them so warm-up sets like like I said one or two warm-up sets sometimes three you do 10 reps for a weight that allows you to do 10 somewhat easy reps and then we get to our heavier sets which uh, we'll do anywhere from like 5 to 8 reps on the heavier sets you see what I'm doing over there um, the way I like to start my back workouts is to uh, do what's called a a shoulder roll. I'll show you guys in, in uh, the following. Now that was me f messing around showing off the t-shirt with uh, He-Man. Masters of the Universe. I don't know if <laughs> some of you younger people will know who He-Man is. It was a cartoon back in my days when I was younger. So here are the girls heavy sets and I'm giving them a little bit of a spot so that they don't cheat and lean back too much. And Nassim was really pulling strong on this tape, even though she doesn't really like upper body days. Okay, so this is the shoulder roll right here. So the shoulder roll, I'll do one or two, three shoulder rolls just to move the shoulder blades down and back. And that's to remind myself, and I'll have clients do this too, to, um, it's just like a reminder or a cue that you're trying to work your back, your lat muscles and not your arms because you can easily work arms when you're doing back movements specifically the biceps that's why 
Um, sometimes some guys are, you know, people ask me at the gym, hey, what do you do for your biceps? How do you get your biceps bigger? How do you get that peak in your biceps? And I'll just tell them, well, um, some of it is genetics as far as the bicep peak go. But the other part is um, doing heavy pull downs, pull ups, up chin ups. Now, when I was working out on my own, I would do a lot more pull ups. The girls, um, I'm trying to get them stronger to get to get to do, you know, to get to do pull ups on their own. So I try to make them do heavier pull downs, sometimes with a little bit of cheating just so that they can get the form and motion down to get them ready for like normal pull-ups. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watch CrossFit videos, but in CrossFit, they'll do a lot of kip, and that's kind of what the, you know, the little body rock is a little bit here when you're leaning back slightly. But it also helps your back muscles, your muscle fibers, get into better alignment for the pull down. So we're finishing off our heavy sets now. And now it's shoulders. So basically, we pick like two, maybe three exercises for pulling and then two or three exercises for pushing. So now this is, of course, a pushing movement. We're doing um, dumbbell shoulder presses. And uh, again, warm up and then we've, we've already warmed up, so we're doing our regular sets right now. Now for shoulders, we don't really go too heavy, only because um, Marshawn has been having shoulder issues. And me, I've had a pec tear in the past. I've torn a pec muscle, so um, I've been having issues Not with really. shoulders and my an elbows angle. ever since I Your had my pec like tear a few years ago. So I don't really go too heavy nowadays on shoulder presses. Like I'll never do anything less than like five or six reps. And I don't really go do five or six reps anymore too many times. I'll, I'll usually just stick with like 10, sometimes 12 reps. So this I think was a little bit of a warm up and then um no this is a this might be a set I can't remember I'm doing this voiceover a day after this workout happened because it took too long to get the video processed and edited on YouTube and I was so tired cuz I had to upload so many um clips I'm trying to learn to do it on this piece of software in Linux it's called OpenShot so hopefully once I learn how to do more video editing on the uh, computer itself, once I'm done I can just upload it to YouTube and the videos will come out a lot better. Uh, I'm still kind of shy as far as like talking on the mic and things like that. I've always been pretty shy by nature so a lot of people are like, man, if you're kind of shy, why, why, why did you compete in bodybuilding where you're just on stage with nothing but your underwear? And I'd be like, they're posing trunks, but no, they're actually just underwear. So yeah, I guess it was a way for me to break out of my shyness. And actually, when I'm on stage competing, I don't really like see the people out there because the lights from the bodybuilding stage kind of keep you from seeing all those people looking at you. And then number one, you're more focused on remembering your memorizing your routine your posing routine so yeah we do shoulder presses we superset it uh, we didn't superset sometimes we'll superset today was not a superset day because we're all just getting over being sick um, so normally the if we do upper body we will do like um, what we what I call a push pull in a vertical or hor or horizontal plane so that's where you know your your body your upper body is is either in a vertical plane like how it is right now when you're standing up or sitting seated up like that and then the horizontal plane when your body is um you know lying down or supine or prone 
but sometimes we will mix it up because I think on this day we we also did uh, some roast, which we don't normally do. If it's a a vertical like push pull day, so we're ending off. The girls I think are ending off their heavy sets with a uh, ten. 10 12 reps and then it'll be my turn so yeah I'm just gonna probably not talk for right now and just let you guys watch the video so I'm still basically recording all this footage on my LG V20 um, Sometimes if we have it on wide angle, the camera do, the camera work does get kind of shaky. Um, I don't haven't figured out yet how to um, if uh, the V20 wide angle lens has a what is it optical image stabilization? Okay, so now we are doing bench rows. Incline bench rows, they're also called spider rows on this, uh, I think it's a hoist machine. The one problem that the girls were having with this hoist machine is that, uh, the, there was a little, it's not made for people like, let's say, under five, six, five, seven. So, they really almost were tippy toying just to so that they can get their how how am I gonna say this so that so they're not like smashing these, certain body parts so they can breathe Good. better and it also helps when the, you know you have good training partners and the three of us will like try to have fun in our workouts and that's why we also like try to mix things up so doesn't get too monotonous or boring and I think I'm gonna do a little dance here <laughs> just a little one but anyways yeah Otherwise, you want to like you got it baby you know, come on there you have go. a little bit of fun we're here for you cheer each other on yeah, every now and then you. try to motivate each other that we good workout partners should be there we to help motivate you. you and help you get your sets going to just push you more than what you could do if you were just training by yourself. So, if you have a good no, workout partner, that's what they'll do. Or done. workout partners, they'll push you and make you lift harder okay. and make you do like work more than what you normally can do this if you don't have a good workout like, partner. So like this is the uh, Incline bench rows or spider rows, so just like and I think we're finishing up these and we're getting ready. Nope, I got one more set. Okay, never mind. So I'm doing one more set, and like I said, we're doing um, same thing, 10, 12 reps on these. Not really going heavy, and that's the beauty I, uh, that I mean about not doing too many exercises on any given day because every upper lower body day push pull day you can always mix things up it doesn't have to be the same exercises all the time you weren't cheating and you can um <laughs> you know pick different exercises that you haven't done yet and the gym that we work out in has a bunch of different machines that we haven't even really used yet because sometimes like we'll pump just stick out, to the out. basics Good. as far as like there you, go. you know your multi-joint movements like heavy rows or medium to heavy rows pull downs Your i'll do pull-ups um, shoulder all the presses around. overhead presses um we haven't done a bench the chest workout yet so matter. you guys will see what we do for no, chest workouts and lift your and weights yeah, now we're finishing up those and now we get to dumbbell lateral raises so dumbbell lateral raises always the one important thing with lateral raises is don't go too heavy and lead with the elbows not with your hands you want to make sure your side deltoids or your lateral delts do most of the work 
so you want to point the elbows up and you want to point the thumbs down just like in a if you guys watch those gladiator movies and you see the you know they tell you live or die and then they say die and you point the thumb down that's how you want your um, hands to be positioned you want your elbows up sometimes the girls will try to push themselves to go heavier and I gotta tell them to go a little lighter these that's the one thing I love about working with these two sisters they they're not afraid to go heavy they're always pushing themselves to be stronger which pushes me to be stronger because I don't want to like look bad the girls are outlifting me and I know there probably are some girls that can outlift me I just don't want these girls to be outlifting me but sometimes they'll outwork me I know that much they will so we're finishing I think these are the last ex the, this is the last exercise for um, upper body day today it was a day after the leg day so the next day tomorrow or actually tomorrow is already today and I have, I'm gonna upload the other uh, lower body workout so we're finishing we're wrapping these bit. up and then that was it if you guys have any questions about the workouts um, if you have any comments Get two um, and you're not trolling, you know, like constructive comments or criticism, just leave them, leave them down below. So yeah, I think right here I'm finishing up the exercises. This is the wrap up. So I'll try to do better next time on the camera footage and the shooting videos. And also my narration will should start getting better the, the more I get used to doing these things. So everyone, thank you all for watching and have a great day. We'll see you for another lower body workout. Take care.